Holy smoking beans, do I ever wish now I had aired this video yesterday. It was already all set. I'd be looking like the astronomist, uh, Nostradamark today. Oh my God, huge news that we got from Legend Story Studios today. But before I get to that, hello again, fabulous friends. Welcome to another Flesh and Blood video as usual. Now this video was all about giving you five indicators why I believe, actually why I strongly believe, that the Flesh and Blood market has hit its bottom and for the foreseeable future will be on a constant rise. So reason number one why I believe that is because unlimited product will eventually go out of print. Big news! Can you believe it? I actually didn't think that this would happen with Crucible of War Unlimited. I thought it would happen with the first two sets, but believe it or not, Legend Store Studios, as of today, has announced that Unlimited Crucible of War is officially out of print. Wow! There you go. I could have titled this video, I told you so, but it's too late now, right? Anyway, I was expecting this to happen maybe with Welcome to Wraith, I've mentioned it before, or Arcane Rising, but with the fact that uh, new players are coming into the market now, maybe uh, Legend Store Studios will want to wait a, an extra six months to give people access to these cards before those editions of Unlimited go out of print. So don't forget, it is called, you know, we have first edition, Unlimited, but they don't just keep printing Unlimited for years and years and years. After a couple of years, those products also go out of print. And when that happens, well... What do you think? I mean, market is uh, apt to go up and it happens sooner than expected for me in terms of Crucible of War. But when you think about it, it makes sense to do that with the supplemental set, right? You have, uh, you know, the original products that gave you all those new heroes and now a supplemental set. Well, we'll see. But uh, I'm surprised they're doing it this quickly. But that will for sure um, create an uptick in the market. And that brings me to reason number two why I believe that we are on our way up right now is because, as you've seen with uh, Monarch, the Monarch set, last few sets, and then Tales of Aria, there was a huge hype for Monarch initially for the first edition, and then people, you know, boxes went up to five, six, seven hundred dollars, and then tanked later on when uh, also Unlimited of Monarch came out, you know, prices of Majestics, ridiculous, being two dollars each, and so on and so forth. And now the um, there wasn't as much hype for the Tales of Aria first edition, but nevertheless, uh, from boxes that were maybe 250-ish in the uh, pre-orders, they are down now to about 110. This is U.S. dollars, okay? So that every one of you can uh, can match your your currencies with the U.S. dollar. All right. So now what that has done all of a sudden is that it has gained Legend Story Studios' attention. Now, Legend Story Studios, they are of course the game is called Flesh and Blood. It is created by players meant to be played, obviously the game in the flesh and blood, that's why they called it that. And uh, so they are very, uh, you know, looking to have the players satisfied and have access to cards. And that's the whole reason behind Unlimited Editions. However, let me tell you for a fact that Legend Store Studios realizes that to have a game that's all, that's well and healthy and all, and all that, you also need a healthy secondary market. I mean, people like me, collectors, okay, mainly. And even then the next category, people who are actually investing in the product also need to be satisfied. They need cold foils, chase cards, rarity of product, and so on and so forth, so that there is value to their special cards. Not cards that players are using every day uh, to play, or, uh, but however, I do know players that uh, uh, really enjoy playing with their cold foils because, you know, there's a little special uh, attraction to that. But anyway, that being, a, but that being said, I mean, we want to satisfy, or they want, I should say, to satisfy the, all those three categories of people out there in the market. And now that what's happened lately with the prices of the last two sets, now that that has gotten their attention, count on me, count on them to do what it takes to make sure that things go in the right direction. I mean, they they work so hard and so spent so much time on creating this game for seven years that they will make sure that the future is uh, rosy for all, not only players, but also collectors and investors. Now, Reason number three. First of all, I'm uh, old enough now. You've probably found out that I turned 55 last weekend at the same time as my channel turned one year old. We're getting to 2,000 subscribers, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, so channel one year old, Legend Store Studios is two years old now, and I am a whole 55 years old. Anyway, uh, enough to have uh, had the chance to live through a few cycles of the stock market, and let me tell you that uh, from what I've seen in the past, you know, in the last uh, 30 some years, I've been involved in investing in the stock market. Um, 
market sentiment is when market sentiment is at its lowest that's when basically when people or investors are you know getting discouraged or they think that uh, things cannot get worse that uh, conditions uh, are nowhere near ideal to actually put more money or invest in the stock market and so on and so forth or, or whatever investable right so at that point when market sentiment is at its lowest bare minimum people think things are about to crash well that's the best time to invest all right and that's what a lot of people have been saying lately in the past month especially uh concerning what they think is going on with the, the prices of cards for flesh and blood going down like crazy i mean market sentiment is low time to buy and time to uh have, make your best investment. So that's reason number three. While I think why I think that uh, we're on our way up now because people will realize this. There are enough people out there that are, are going to take advantage of that situation to invest. All right. Uh, reason number four is uh, well has to do with uh, just a product play, player players coming into the flesh and blood community. And as the player base grows, you know what else can happen than uh, cards be becoming a uh, a premium. You know, rarer I should say. Uh, even though it seems like there was plenty of product lately going around for the player base that we have, if the player base, for example, in 2022 triples, I mean, the, the singles, the availability of cards will not be as plentiful, first of all, in the circumstances that we've been seeing in the past month or so, but even more so if Legend Store Studios starts uh, putting their products, certain products out of print, like they've done now with Crucible of War Unlimited. Again, I'm so... I can't believe this unexpected and this is like this goes to further every single one of my points that I'm mentioning to you today these five reasons these five points that 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 I'm convinced will, will make sure that the product that the uh, market will be going up strongly in the next few months uh, so there you go uh, player base uh, becoming much larger uh, cannot do anything you don't need a college degree to figure that out uh, there you go Reason number five, I guess it will be this a reason for my, my like of the game, what I think of the game, and so on and so forth. This may be a little philosophical. Uh, I didn't say that right, but anyway, you understand? Um, I feel that as we are going out of COVID and now players are discovering the game, I mean, we we have events in, uh, in uh, local game stores such as... Uh, uh, skirmish events, uh, armory events, I should say also, uh, road to nationals, nationals, uh, calling events, and so on and so forth. People realizing that flesh and blood is there to stay because flesh and blood is the most fun TCG there is to play. So there you go. That's my reason number five. How can you not expect a market uptick with all of these reasons? I hope you guys, well, if you whether you agree or not, uh, go ahead and uh, comment down there in the comment section. Let me know what you think is coming up and uh, I'll be anxious to have a look at that. And uh, until our next video, stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.